Good morning, everyone. I'm Nikki Pursuit, and welcome back to my channel. There is something going on with the door at work. I just made it to work, by the way. Before I continue on with this vlog today, I kind of want to let you guys know something that happened to me in the last 24 hours. I was told that one of my high school teachers had passed away very suddenly and very unexpectedly from natural causes. I kind of want to take a minute to talk about that because it just feels, first off, before I even say anything, it finally processed what happened. Like, in the beginning, beginning i was kind of shocked didn't b really believe it second off it's finally hitting me like i'm finally processing what the heck happened and it's a very hard hit because i've had to deal with people passing away and stuff it's one of those things where you don't think that teachers will pass away in your lifetime or something or it's i don't know it's one of those things you don't expect it until it happens and so that's one of those things that i'm dealing with right now so i want to apologize in advance if i seem different or or acting different in this video i just kind of wanted to be raw and honest with you guys that this situation is just very surreal to me and it's a very strange situation and i felt like it was only appropriate that i would sit park and really just tell you guys what happened i'm about to head into work do my thing at work i work with special needs kids if you guys did not know and i'm sorry for that introduction if this is your first video watching me i just thought i'd tell you guys what happened i also still have to put my pictures into album if you guys saw my video yesterday i took off pictures that were on my wall that i had glued or not glued but there's this stuff that you can basically mold onto your wall and that's what i use to like put pictures on my wall for the longest time and i took off all those pictures that were on my wall organized them i organized all my albums here's some footage of me organizing all the pictures for my albums <laughs> organized all those photos i actually have to put them back into the albums so that's what i'm going to be doing today if you guys want to watch that with me later that's fine i don't know if i have really anything else planned today is friday Woo! friday ew i got these like couple of pimples on my chin i always get if i get anything on my chin as far as acne it's like stress acne and it's the worst thing because at that point i can't do anything to stop it it's the worst thing anyway i should head into work because i have four more minutes to head in so i'll see you guys after work <laughs> I'm off work officially and I am in line to get my test done since I didn't get to do it yesterday since they were closed yesterday. Yeah, I'm basically waiting in line at this point to get my testing done. If you want the full process of how I did my testing, it will be in the description below. I made a couple of videos about it and if you guys are curious on how the process works, it'll be in the description below. I'm just gonna chill out here, <sighs> do what I need to do, <laughs> unfortunately, but it needs to be done and everyone should be getting it done as needed and yeah i'm gonna go on and doing this <laughs> just finished my testing that i needed to do i'm on my way home now it took about two hours which is the longest i've ever had to wait but that's okay i got it done and the long the line is longer at the moment let me show you so this is the line right now and it's just it's the same long line that's going right when i ended that clip of showing you guys the COVID line that's where it ended okay that's about where I waited for my two hour mark. There's that. I also made friends with the girl that was doing my test and she was like telling me how gorgeous I was. And like, she told me I looked like this singer apparently. So I love her. Like she's my new best friend, just say it. But I am on my way home now. I haven't had anything to eat since I left before work and I barely ate anything. I should just head home and eat now because it's quarter to five now and I am tired and I am hungry. I also told you guys yesterday that, and yesterday's vlog that is. And well, I also told you guys this morning. Anyway, let me get to the point. I told you guys this morning that I would finish doing my photos, like putting my photos that were on my wall into my album, which I'm probably gonna start doing after I finish eating. I'm gonna head home now. <laughs> 
Bye. My Black Friday stuff is here and I'm excited to show you guys that. I bring my laptop over here, put my package on that so my bed doesn't get dirty from. Yes, I did sanitize my package before bringing it in here and you all should. I got way too excited and I thought I ended up cutting into my clothing. I never explained what this was. I've been mentioning this for a few vlogmases. I started vlogging probably a few days before Thanksgiving or like the week before Thanksgiving. This is the stuff I ended up getting for Black Friday. If you guys did not know, I shopped a little bit for Black Friday and ended up getting a hot non haul, which I'm about to show you guys right now. I'm so excited. And this bag is recycled. Cool. I'm proud of Cotton On. If you guys did not know, I am obsessed with Cotton On. I love their clothing and I feel like everything suits me. There's some things I get in a medium and some things I get in a large as far as sizing goes for my body, just as a heads up for you guys. And I will be telling you guys the sizing for everything if you guys want the sizing for everything. This is a long sleeve crew neck in a size medium. I read online that it was a bit oversized. I'll see if I can get the links for these and put these for you down below so you guys have if you guys see anything you like. But this is the first t-shirt I got. Oh, it's so cute, I'm excited. Here's the next one, let me cut this one open. And it's okay, have you guys ever shopped online and were unsure of something that you saw online but you see it in person and you're like, good choice, I'm proud of myself. This is one of those moments where I feel like I was iffy on that with this shirt and let's see how I like it. And also like, oh, this t-shirt's in a large by the way. There's some things that some stores have where it's online only, which is a good thing because it encourages people not to go in store. But also you don't know how it's gonna end up looking so this is the second one this would end up being look like it will look very cute either with high-waisted jeans or a skirt i need to get more skirts i used to have one skirt that i used to own that i used to like wear all the time and i don't think i have that skirt anymore so i need to find a new skirt this next shirt is in a medium this shirt i think everything that i got in a medium it said it was a bit larger like the sizing ran a bit larger that's why i did get a bigger size this is the same sweater as the first one but but in a different color. This one's a cream color. The first one obviously was a greenish color. I think I have two more things. This one's a pullover apparently. This one I got in a size medium as well. They run a bit bigger. This is cropped. This is actually cute. I might try these on for you guys. I don't know if I'll try it on in this video or in another video, depending on how lazy I am. These are the pictures or these are the shirts so far. And I think the last thing I got was a pair of biker shorts. Now it's been hard for me to find a good material for biker shorts because here's my thing is that a lot of them get stained really easily or they don't like fit right. It's kind of like a pair of leggings to get a pair of good biker shorts. And this is what I was most afraid of and I've never really tried on cotton on's anything when it comes to pants and I've mentioned this in my fashion hauls before is that I'm very hesitant on trying on pants what size did I get this in I think I got it in a large just in case but they look pretty flexible and my other biker shorts that I own I have I think one or two other ones and I got them in a large as well but they're different brands so I don't know how these will fit I don't know but we'll see okay now on to the next part of this video <laughs> So I know what you're probably thinking is that, Nikki, why are you doing this? And this is because I've needed to do it for a long, long time. Is that I've been organizing my photos and I have obviously a lot of them and there's probably more somewhere in my room. I just thought it was about time that I really needed to take care of all of this and why not do this with you guys? So if you guys want to join me in doing this time lapse, go ahead. So what I basically did was I separated all my photos based on event, people I spent it with, family, friends, you know, all that shebang and mostly by location let's say i went to san diego for a weekend with family this is one batch of pictures from that but there are also some things that are just random photos which i'm not going to turn this one because it's family and i'm going to keep family private but these are batches of photos that are from family photos and they're like random events i probably only took like one or two pictures of that place with and decided to print them but they didn't really have a place to go so i decided to do it that way my probably like the largest batch I have is this one and this is when I was last in the Middle East and that was about four years ago and I thought I'd take as many pictures as I can on that trip that I'll probably be, 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 speak clearly and enunciate that stack of photos will probably be my last batch of photos I work on before I really do anything else I'm gonna do a lot of the smaller stuff first and then that batch and I'm gonna start playing music on my Spotify and let's see where this goes let the time lapse begin see you
got a good portion of putting the pictures in my album. I only have a couple of stacks left, which is the main stack that I showed you guys in the beginning. That was the bulkiest stack. And I kind of have a couple of old pictures of my parents and my family that I've left. Besides that, the majority of pictures are in my album. And so let me show you guys. This chunk of my album is filled and I have this side filled. I just need to fill the back side of this page. But for that most part, I have that finished. I have this stack left and then that main stack I showed you in the beginning. The main reason why I'm stopping, and let me explain why, my foot started cramping out. But the main reason why I started, just I wanted to stop, I should say, not started, but main reason why I stopped tonight is because I saw this picture of my father and I'm not gonna put it in the video for my dad's privacy. I wanna keep my dad, you know, doing his own thing. I was looking through old pictures and I found a picture of my dad at 19 years old and I found a picture of myself at 20 and we were both in the same location in the same country at the same time it like not the same time but like around that same era and it's it struck me as just so weird that we lived completely different lives and different generations at the same age and it's just it really got to me it really spoke to me and I just thought I let that be the last thing I see tonight and let that be kind of a happy note considering how I've been feeling kind of what I mentioned this morning depression has been hitting me in waves and this wave has been a little bit harder than usual and that I'd like to admit I was feeling it up and down today I was feeling good for a little bit and I kind of got down for a little bit and it was just back and forth all day today but I just thought I'd end this video and the album stuff here I'll probably work on it tomorrow or something we'll see and if you guys do not know this oh let me adjust you guys so if you guys don't know this my niece says hello <laughs> if you guys do not know this for the third time for every day of vlogmas that I've been doing vlogmas in December I've been choosing a charity to donate or you guys can donate to for every day in December it's a different charity and if there's any charity that interests you I encourage you to donate somewhere this month you do not know who's in need and you do not know what other people are going through I thought tonight I'd spend you know promoting another charity I usually reference or look at the website to kind of give you guys what the charity is about but you guys can go to their website I usually link it in my description below so you guys can kind of look at the website further on your own but the website I am promoting tonight is UNICEF and their main motto on the website says UNICEF workers brave uh work in brave war zones treacherous terrains disasters and disease to make the world safe for kids UNICEF has helped save the lives of more than 122 million children usually they help with illnesses women you know giving birth and can't really give vaccinations to their children such to the point where it's not affordable for them and a lot of um a lot of UNICEF I should say really help out with illnesses that kids have and they've been helping a lot with preventing illnesses that have been important. So I'll link their link in the description below. You guys can read their statistics and more on their website. I hope you guys have a good day, a good night, a good slumber whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's Vlogmas. Bye-bye.